it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me today. I have a power yoga class. You'll just need a yoga mat and your body. If you like to practice with blocks, feel free to grab a block, towel, water, anything you might need for your practice today. Go ahead and meet me on your knees. We'll just settle into our bodies and our breath, and then we'll get right into the practice. Start by rolling the shoulders back and down. Lifting up through the crown of the head, and if it feels safe for you, let's close the eyes. We'll relax the muscles in the face, soften the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw, and the tongue. Meeting our bodies as they are, trying to let go of your morning, your day. Letting go of any expectations on our bodies, on our minds. Just trying to be present in this moment, listening to the cues of our bodies, whether it's telling us to modify, stop something, or amplify, push a little harder, perhaps. It's not a competition, so we'll just do what feels right for ourselves. Start to focus on the breath. Deeply inhale through the nose and sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Imagine any stale air leaving the body, any negativity, any stress. Let it go. Deep breath in. Big sigh out. <sighs> Soften something, let go. Again, just become present. Feel anything that's coming up. And if you like to practice with that ujjayi pranayama breath, we'll be breathing through the nose. Sometimes that doesn't work for us if we're stuffed up or something, and that's fine too. Deep breath in. And push it out the nose. Feel the vibration that creates on the back of the throat. And listen to that sound. It sounds like the ocean. At the bottom of the breath, you'll feel a little toning on the core as you push the air out. Deep breath in. And exhale. Trying to elongate the breathing, slow down the mind and the body. Become aware of the breath. Let's float the eyes open if they were closed. Inhale the arms over the head. Gaze up to the fingers, maybe the palms touch, palms down to heart center. Put a little compression in the fingers and the palms as the elbows spread wide. Pressure there. Good, inhale, sweep it on up. Exhale, pull it down to heart center. Let's take some circles, pressing against the back of the hand and then the inside of the wrist. Four, three, two, and one, and then reverse that. Maybe get some cracks going. Three, two, and one. We're gonna push forward and press up. Press forward like you're protracting the shoulders and doing a plank, and then press up like you're elevating the shoulders and doing a handstand. Two more. Energy, like you're pressing through water. Activate the muscles of the shoulders, the wrists, the forearms. Press forward, scoop into the core, press up. And then go ahead and shake out as you bring those arms down. Side bending. Take one set of fingers down. We'll lift, inhale, and exhale up and over. That bottom elbow might bend as you increase your range of motion, just going to your edge where it feels good in the body and release. Inhale and exhale, lateral bend. Testing out those edges, seeing if you can maybe get a little bit more softness and a little bit more length into the side body. Come on back up. Gentle twist, one hand reaches around outer thigh, maybe your fingertips press behind your back. Inhale, exhale, twist, press into that hand for leverage for both hands or fingers and twist. And float on over to the other side, grab a hold of the outer thigh, fingertips behind you, inhale, tall, exhale, rotate like you're wringing out. Beautiful. 
Let's take an uh, interlace fingers with your hands behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in retraction. And if possible, you could dip those fists into the mat and take a gentle back bend. Puff up through the chest. Tuck the chin first, exhale. Shoulder circles one at a time. And we'll come into tabletop. Spread your fingers wide, index finger forward, grip into the mat with all 10 fingers here. We're gonna push our hips back into child's pose and take some moving cat cows as you round the spine and cat, move forward and table. And as you arch, cow, send the hips back to child's pose. Round forward through cat, tuck the tailbone, tone the core. Exhale, sit back and then just find your breath Find that fluidity of the movement. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. It's okay to bend the elbows and just move organically here. Two more. And one. Round forward, arch back. Come back to tabletop. Sideways barrel circles. Puff up through the back of the heart and then bring the belly towards the mat, round, circling right, and then exhale, make those big circles to the left if your shoulders and neck want to get involved, let them go. Any little shimmying side to side like you're wagging your tail. And then we'll press forward into the fingertips, dipping into the fingers, pressing back, shifting forward like a modified plank, shifting back. Two more, shift, Stretch back, hold it here. Bring the elbows towards the ribs for knees, chest, chin for three. Tabletop, dip forward, knees, chest, chin for two. Tabletop and knees, chest, chin. Can you tuck those toes, pull the knees off the floor and then land the belly. Cobra rolls, fingertips wide, roll up, head up last, heels towards sky, glutes and hamstrings on. Roll down, inhale, peel up. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, peel up. Exhale, release. Send your left hand out to the side, right hand in like chaturanga, and then twist your right knee up to sky, right toes trying to find your fingers. They don't have to meet. Deep breath in and out. Stretch the shoulder, the hip flexor, and the quad on top. And unwind. Get right leg stays up, left arm forward, right arm back. And we'll just keep the left toe on the ground. Get send your right arm out, left hand to chaturanga, like a wing as the elbow lifts. And then the knee peels open. We feel the hip flexor and quad stretch as we reach the toes back. Hamstring engagement to curl and releasing through that right shoulder, pressing it down into the earth. Unwind, keep the left leg extended, right arm up in opposition. Left hand can reach back, keep your right big toe down. Bring your hands by your chest, toes to the ground, lift up through cobra or upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and start to pedal, bending one knee at a time, walking your dog, spreading the fingers, anchoring down into each fingertip. Pick up the heels, drop them to the left, bounce like you're doing a squat. Pick up your heels, turn them to the right, bounce, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. And just move organically. You can go from side to side, like you're twisting and squatting down. Come back to center. Let your head be heavy, shake it out. Take some nice deep breaths. Stretch the shoulders forward and long and the tailbone up towards sky. Feel the hamstrings and the calves stretch. Walk your feet a little closer to the midline. Stretch the right toes towards sky. You can go high heel, low heel a few times on that left heel. Nice, right knee is gonna twist towards left elbow. Hug the heel in. And then as you step back, left hand, Twist towards right ankle. Try to gaze up, up above under that right armpit as you gaze towards sky. Press into those right fingers, strong shoulders, gentle twist. Do that two more times. 
Come down right knee towards left elbow. Then left hand towards right wrist. If you can, you can give it a grab and a twist. One more time. Right knee cross twist, left elbow. Left hand, right ankle, breath in and out. Bring those hands down, we'll drop the knees, are gonna tap, and then the elbows are gonna tap. Just do the best you can. If you can't come all the way down to the ground, that's okay. It could be just like a push up, bend, straighten. Knee tap, forearm tap, knee tap, forearm tap, like you're going dolphin to down dog, if that's possible for you. Nice, right leg up one more time. This time we're gonna shift our left knee down, reach the right toes back, and push your belly towards your thighs. This little floating lizard here. Then tuck the knee and step through. Make a 90, 90 degree knee, any adjustments, and we'll be in this low lunge here. Twist your right arm up as your right knee hugs towards that left shoulder. Gentle twist, let's circle the arm backwards a few times. You can circle the wrist as well. And then forward a few times. Beautiful. Restack. Take the left foot that's back, kick stand it open, kick the right foot out. We'll take high knee connection, low knee taps. High knee to elbow, side plank, low knee to elbow. Top knee and bottom and partridge. Grab outside top of foot and kick. Allow the shoulder, good, the hip, the quad, and some back strength to engage here. Coming right back where you came from, extend that leg out to the side, tuck it in and step on it. Take your back toes down. We're gonna peel up to a twisted triangle and only straighten as much as possible. You don't have to come all the way up to straight legs. So we're gonna lift the right arm, left knee down. Then opening up the left arm and hip like you're going into Trikonasana triangle. Again, you only have to lift as high as it's possible in your body. If your hamstrings are tight, just lift a few inches, twist. Or you can straighten to twisting triangle and triangle. Again, we're listening to our bodies. We're rotating our right arm up and then our left arm up. One more time, right, and then your open twist. Now Skandasana, curl to the left heel in a side lunge. Feeling your inner thigh, your groin, your ankle, your hip flexor. If, you're, if you struggle to drop your heel here, that's okay. The heel can be elevated and you can try to work it down. Left shoulder to inside of left knee. Let's take the right arm up and pull into that gentle open twist for a breath. We're going lizard lunge. So we're gonna to start to bend the front knee and take a walk crawling to the inside of the right knee. Now both hands are inside and we can rock a few times here. Half split, lizard lunge, half split, Lizard lunge, one more time, breath in, hold, and come on back. Walk your left hand forward, horizon, circle the right arm up and around. You can drop to the knife edge of both feet as you twist back and let the hip and shoulder melt down, or shoulder up, hip down. Take a breath here, a lot of external rotation trying to happen on the right hip. See how that feels for you. And we'll come back possibly bringing forearms to the mat for a breath. Exhale, walk onto your hands. We're gonna step on the back foot, elevate the knee. Now this is gonna be like a half crow. Your left knee is gonna try to land on your left tricep. And you can bend the elbow to make that shelf. And right arm is gonna extend to the side, push into those left fingers, push the left shoulder down, hug the heel towards butt. Left foot back, right hand down, right foot back, left arm up. We are trying to hold the spinal balance. It's okay if you're very wobbly or you can't lift up the hand. Left hand down, right foot steps forward. Back to lizard lunge, back to your half crow. Knee towards tricep, hug heel in, 
right arm out to the side like an airplane. One more time into that spinal balance. Left foot back, right hand down, right foot back. Option, try to lift the left arm up. Hold a breath, and then knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo. Take some nice calming breaths here so we can go over to your left side. Inhale and exhale. Free, feel free to pause at any time or come into a child's pose and join in when you're ready. Otherwise, we'll walk the feet a little closer together. Lift the left leg as high as you can and start to elevate high heel, low heel, high heel, low heel. One more up and down. Now left knee towards right elbow, twist and tuck. Step back, right hand towards left ankle or calf, whatever you can grab. Twist, look under the left armpit towards the sky, pull down a little bit. Again, right hand down, left knee, right elbow. Left foot down, right hand, left ankle. Twist, one more time. Plank, left knee, right elbow, twist, tuck. Step back, right hand, left ankle, twist, pull through a little bit, lift the tailbone. Breath in and out, release it. Your knees are gonna tap, and then your forearms are gonna tap. And just do the best you can here. If you struggle to bring it all the way into dolphin from down dog, it can just be a bend and a straighten. Tap down, tap down, knees, forearms, nice work. Take the left foot and we're gonna send it back. So now we're trying to push our chest towards our right quad and shift nice and low, step through. <sighs> Pretty hard move there. Stepping into your low lunge, drop your back knee. Again, any little adjustments. Take your right hand down, left arm up, circle the wrist, and circle the shoulder. Three circles backwards, and about three forward. Like you're winding something up and stack. Hug the knee towards the midline. Your right shoulder twists under the left, and we try to take the gaze up. Breath in and out here. Kicks down the right foot out. Kick the left foot out. Top knee, elbow, bottom knee, elbow. So modified side plank tuck, and then side plank tuck. Push down through those fingers and shoulder. Tap it up, tap it down, tap it up, tap it down. Extend that foot, reach for the outside top of the foot as you hamstring curl, and try to kick back, pry the heart open. Feel the hip flexor and quad, the chest and shoulder stretch, the back engages. Back where you came from, extend that leg to your left side, step on it, and we'll start to tuck your right toes under, find your twisting triangle, hands down, twist our uh, regular trikonasana, and you don't have to be able to straighten all the way with your hand down. It could just come up to where you're feeling that stretch. So maybe you're here with two bent knees and just kind of hovering and lifting as high as you can. A couple more sets, you're quite flexible. Go for the trikonas trikonasana triangle on both sides. Nice. Now, walk your hands across, bend into your back knee, my right knee, and we're gonna shift into that side lunge, skandhanasana, just side lunge. So we'll lift the heel and try to relax the ankle. Lift and lower. Feel your inner thigh. You can point and flex. Pull that right shoulder to the inside of the knee and open twist. Take a breath here as you gaze upward. We're gonna crawl into lizard lunge, moving to the front of the inside of your left foot and picking up that back heel. You can drop the knee here and then move through half split Ardha Hanumanasana to that lizard lunge, forward and back. 
moving in ways that feel good in the body, where you find that edge, you try and find that release. Hold this one a moment and come on back. Walk the right hand forward, left arm is gonna twist and you'll move to the side edges of the feet. The right shoulder can elevate and the right hip can melt down. Maybe you have this knee towards your face, your nose, or you can try to externally rotate it out away from your body, depending on how open your hips are. We'll come on back, possibly lowering to forearms. And then walking back up to hands for the half crow. Your right knee is going to find the shelf of your right tricep. Bend the elbow a little bit. Hug the, the knee in, the heel to butt. Left hand expands out like an airplane wing to the side. Press down into your shoulder, your hand, your fingertips. When you step the right foot back, left hand down, left foot back, right arm up, spinal balance. Now right hand down, left foot in place of left hand, back to your half crow. Right knee on tricep, left hand expands lateral. Round the back, scooping through the core, heel to butt. Right foot back, left hand down, left foot back, maybe right arm up. Spinal balance, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, exhale down dog. Ooh. Nice calming breath. We're going to take some hops to get forward. Look forward, come onto the toes, bend the hips back, bend the knees, bounce, bounce, bounce. Practice jumping hips up. Bounce, jump, push down through the hands, through the fingers. Maybe this third one, jump forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, Uttanasana. Let the body hang here. Head heavy, knees soft. Shake it out, yes and no. Heart rate might be elevated here. Just take some nice calming breaths and move organically. Maybe a counter stretch on the wrist, flipping the palms up, dropping the head heavy, bending the knees as much as you would like to or need to. You can bend and straighten. And ragdoll up with soft knees, stacking up the vertebrae, finding Tadasana Mountain Pose. First time standing, give everything a nice little shake out. Maybe a little bit of a bounce. Letting everything just go. Spread those toes, bouncing on the ball of the feet with air or without, and then finding stillness. Spread the toes, anchor down. Crown of the head up, shoulders back and down. Lengthen the tailbone, tone the belly. Let's widen our feet, almost mat width. And we're gonna take some spirals to the right. You're gonna sweep and gently back bend. Three, circle sweep, two, circle sweep, one. Reach the right hand behind the leg, wrap it around the hamstring or inner thigh. And then reach the left arm diagonal behind you towards the back of your mat and back bend. If it feels okay and you want to drop the head back, option. Engage the glutes. Release. Let's come into a dipping forward fold and a ragdoll up. Reverse that. So we'll start to gather up that sweep to the left. Only going to where it feels good in the body. Three big circle sweeps. Left hand behind the thigh or to the inner thigh. Right arm lifts up and back as you push the hips forward, tone the glutes. And if you'd like to dip it back further, drop the head. Crawl the hand down the leg. Come on back. Dip down, soft knees. Release the spine, little gentle bounces. And cat your way. Bring those feet hip width apart. Let's take Utkatasana, sweep the arms down and up, and then folding chair. Melt your thighs to your belly, arms back. Take a little ski position. Good, sweep up, Utkatasana. Flip down, half chair, half fold. Squat, 
Utkatasana, fierce, tuck the tailbone, or just kind of send it back behind the knees and folding chair. Drop into forward fold, Uttanasana, shake that heavy head out. Relax the neck, cervical spine. Imagine any tension dripping out the top of the head. One more deep breath here, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the palms down, jump back to plank. Your flow, chaturanga, up dog, or your modification. Option from up dog, wanna try chaturanga? Lift the hips, jump onto the bottom of the feet. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga. You gotta pull those toes backwards to flip onto the top of the feet. And let's take a quick child's pose. Good, take a breath here in your child's pose and do a little small stretching sequence before our final class flow. So from child's pose, we're taking pigeon. Your right knee is gonna step forward towards right wrist, walk the left toes back. Try to pull your shoulders up over your hips so it's quite a deep back bend and hip flexor quad stretch. Breath in and out. And then you can walk your hands in front and fold over. Sleeping pigeon, use the weight of your upper body to help allow that right hip that's an external rotation to soften. Big breath here. And walk it back up. We're gonna take our knees to stack. So the right knee is gonna slip back over the left knee and you'll try to create some space for your sit bones. So maybe you have to wiggle that left foot a little bit away from the body. Stacking your knees as best you can and continuing with that external rotation on the hip. Let's try a little eagle wrap. So right leg is over, right hand is gonna sweep under. Maybe the palms touch and you lift those sh elbows shoulder height. Inhale here, exhale, dip over to a fold and then you can let the hands fall, nose towards knee. Try to settle into those hips. We're gonna crawl forward into side plank. Crawl forward, turn to your left, right hand stays down. Like you're squatting, we're gonna bend and arc bend and arc. So you're bringing your hips towards your heels and arcing over. Now walk the right foot and the left foot to the back and take this half uh, single arm reverse table, also known as a crab reach. Push the shoulder down, squeeze the hips up, take a big breath, maybe turn that gaze down as you puff up through the chest and come on back. Turn your body down, walk your feet out. Option for a flow, chaturanga. Flick those toes back, up dog, child's pose. Take a moment, swivel those hips, nice deep breaths, that simple flow of stretching on the other side. <sighs> left knee is gonna come forward towards left wrist. Walk the right toes back. Find your pigeon pose. Pull the shoulders over the hips. Feel the deep hip flexor quad stretch and back. Try not to strain the low back. So if it doesn't feel good for you, you can stay a little bit forward. And then just breathe into that pose. Try maybe again to pull, engage the back side to lift the shoulders up over the hips. Now, exhale forward fold. Completely soften the low back and feel the external rotation that's happening on the left hip. Can we melt it even further? Big breath in and out. Walk the hands again. Take this left knee. You might even walk your right foot a little bit towards the right. Slip the left knee over top of the right. And then wiggle your feet a little bit further away until you can drop into both sit bones. Try to stack your knees as best you can. Try and settle into those hips. 
Now, left arm is gonna swing under the right. Garudasana arms, eagle wrap, elbows lift up and pull away from the body as you protract the shoulders. Inhale up, sit up tall, relax that left hip, and then forward fold, and release the hands. Maybe your nose to your knees or your mouth to your knees, your left top knee. Inhale and exhale. Now crawling into side plank, start to walk forward, left hand down, open up the right hand. So your feet are kind of split and we're gonna sit down, bend both knees, arc the body. Think of like a squat, then drop, lower your hips to your heels and then arc over your side plank. Nice side body stretch and strengthening into the low obliques. Bend and straighten. Good, walk both feet facing the back under your knees, lift the hips. Reverse table on the left hand for that crab reach, reach the arm over the head, take the gaze down, or you can look up for a moment, try to puff up the heart, feel the glutes and hamstrings push you higher, then gaze down and start to twist yourself back. Chaturanga, toes flick back, up dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Right leg's gonna lift up, bend the knee, stack the hip. Lean a little bit into that left hand as you try to touch your right toes toward your left shoulder. Ooh. Come on back, neutral. Step forward. Nice. Warrior one. Maybe widen your stance, open up your left heel, reach your arms up. Left hip forward, right hip back. Try to square the hips here. Take a breath. Bind the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Gentle back bend. Only listening to your body, your depth. Humble warrior. Tuck the chin. Try to fold your right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Drop your head heavy. Keep rotating the left hip forward, pulling the right hip back. Squeezing shoulder blades together. See if you can pull the arms forward, over the shoulders or beyond, and release. As you come up to warrior two, go ahead and shake out the elbows and the shoulders and wrists. Open warrior two, bend deeply, straighten, reverse triangle on straight legs, left hand back. Warrior two, bend deeply, do that again. Reverse triangle, straight legs. Lean away. Warrior two, this time push the hips back, straighten Trikonasana. Pull the arms in opposition, left glute, kind of tucking forward to peel the left hip on top. One more time, warrior two, Trikonasana. Straighten out as much as you can, hold it here. From triangle, we're lowering into Malasana. So we're gonna take a little hop in, turn both sets of toes out, and drop into Malasana. Elbows can pry the knees apart. Try to pull your chest forward and your shoulders back, lengthen the spine. We'll dip forward into frog briefly. Bring your hands down, jump the feet back, very carefully come down to the inside of the knees, and then find your shape, whether you lower down to forearms, maybe all the way down onto chest. Allow the inner thighs and groin to melt. Try to find some softness there. Press your hands back in to pick your body up. Very carefully tuck your toes under and jump back where you came. Malasana. We're gonna lift to halfway fold, turn the toes forward, maybe even widen your stance a little bit. Right hand down, left arm up, press the left hip down as you twist. Now take that same right hand to your left ankle, bend into the right knee, try to get your right shoulder towards your right knee, half lunge. Straighten out both legs, left hand down, right arm up, press the right hip down as you twist the upper body to stack. 
Take that left hand to the right ankle, bend the left knee, try to bring your left shoulder closer to your left knee. And release, folding right down the center. We're gonna make our way to the top of the mat in pyramid pose. Turn your toes, walk your feet a little bit apart, maybe two feet between them. Drop into pyramid, left hip forward. Same hip stance as warrior one. From pyramid, shift into the front foot, float the arms back, find warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Use the back body, drop the left hip, reach everything in opposition, head to toes. Standing split, soften the right knee, drop the head heavy. You can grab your right hand around your right wrist, activate the left toes to sky. Big breath in and out, energetic toes up, up, up. Now walk forward. Here's your little handstand prep practice. It could look as small as this, where you're just barely jumping off the, left, the right toes, using your left foot like a pendulum to swing you up, or maybe you catch a moment pressing into those fingers, pushing down through the shoulders, like you're trying to make a, a hole right through the earth. Tuck the pelvis, push the shoulders down. When you come down on the right foot, left knee lands behind you. Half camel, half lunge. If you need more space, tuck the left toes, grab the ankle or heel, and reach back. If you still can't reach, just press into the small of the back. Take a couple breaths here. Look forward, stack your shoulders. Can we balance and take both knees to camel and again into the side towards the left and open it up, Ustrasana. Now both hands towards heel or small of back, hips forward, heart up, tuck the chin, child's pose. Melt it down and wiggle those hips. Ooh, a lot to that flow. We'll repeat that on the other side momentarily. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Now come up onto the top of the knees. We're gonna take a hip hinge without the back bend. See if you can reach back. Feel the quads activate. You don't have to be able to touch down, but just lean. Good, then downward facing back. Camel or kneeling hip hinge, I should say. So without the back bend, it's the strength from the quads. To down dog, press back, strong shoulders. Knees down, hip hinge, balance and shift. Challenge that edge, it's pretty tough on the quads. Tuck the toes, down facing dog. <sighs> Beautiful job. Walk your feet a little closer as you lift the left leg, bend the knee, stack, open the hip. Lean a little bit into the right hand as you twist those left toes towards the right shoulder. Square out. And we'll step forward, hug the knee in, step in between the hands. Open up your feet a little bit as you drop the right heel, pinky toe grounds. Reach up through warrior one. And then adjust your feet if you have a little more space. Warrior one, reach behind the back, interlace the fingers, and we'll take a gentle back bend. Neutral spine, tuck the chin, forward fold, wedge that left shoulder towards inside of left knee, and see if you can hang the head heavy, squeeze shoulder blades, pull arms forward gently. Left hip pulls back, right hip draws forward. Breath here. Soften something as you exhale. And come on up, release those hands. Shake them out as you find warrior two. Now your hips are open, so we can have a wider stance. Bend deeply, straighten out that back knee, ground through the pinky, straighten the knees, reverse triangle, reach back. Warrior two, bend deeply, straighten, revolved, reverse that stretch on straight legs. Bend the knee, now trikonasana. Straighten, shift the hips back, cartwheel forward. You don't have to be that deep. You could be up on the shin, 
pull the arms in opposition. One more time, warrior two, bend, shift those hips, stretch forward, cartwheel down, trikonasana. Stack those hips, try to gently lengthen the tailbone, peel the right hip open, shoulders, ribs, stack. When we lower down to malasana, take a little hop in, open up both toes and knees. Hands to the heart center, pull the shoulder blades back. Take a moment here. We'll hit that frog briefly. Hop, land, split those knees as wide as you can, and lower into your inner thigh middle split stretch. Come on up, tuck your toes under, then jump onto the feet. We're gonna lift up to goddess this time. Widen your feet and lift up, cactus the elbows. You can bounce here, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to thighs, gentle twist. Drop one shoulder, elevate and look up the other. Center and twist. Pry those knees apart. Dip the shoulder down as you lift. Come back through center. Pull those toes forward, halfway fold. Activate the core, spread the fingers and reach behind you and then drop into your wide leg fold. So here might be a little yogi's choice time. You can sway, swivel, or perhaps go upside down. As you make your way out of your inversion or your play, we're gonna turn forward, shift the toes forward. You have a shorter range of feet, maybe two feet apart. Right hip forward, left hip down, pyramid pose. Heavy head drop in. Take a moment and then start to shift forward into a balancing warrior three. When you're ready to float the hands, they can go back. Crown of the head forward, right hip drops, toes and head pulling apart, scooping through the core, reach the arms back. And take a breath in. Exhale, standing split. Soften the left knee, left hand grabs left ankle or whatever's available and the right toes kick up energetically, actively use all strength. When you're ready, walk forward. And your option is to pendulum that right foot and maybe just take a soft hop off the left toes, even if it's like an inch, or we can try to catch a handstand. Press the shoulders down, press into the fingers, scoop into the core. Tuck the tailbone almost. So your hips are curling forward rather than arching back. Land the left toes, then the right knee all the way down. You can keep the right toes tucked. Swivel the right hand towards the right heel and open up into that half camel, half low lunge. Hold it here a few breaths. It might not be as deep, that's okay too. You could take your hand to the small of the back and just reach back. We're gonna lift the shoulders and try to balance the knees meet or about shoulder width apart. And then that same side bending camel towards your right heel. And when you're ready, regular camel opening up the chest to the sky. Perhaps both hands reaching to heels or small of the back. Come on out of that slowly. Tuck your toes and find child's pose. Ooh. Shimmy the hips from side to side. Take a nice calming breath. As you come on up, ragdoll up to kneeling. This time we're gonna try to hip hinge back. Instead of going to down dog, we're gonna try to use our upper body strength and catch a knees, chest, chin. Lift up, push away. Do the best you can. 
If you need to cheat a little bit, hinge at the hips. It'll make this a lot easier to catch. Okay, so easier bend first, hip hinge. Harder, try to keep a straight line, but catch yourself. Good, dip back, hip hinge, and catch down. Push away, hip hinge, stay here, catch and release. Awesome job, bend the knees, wash the hips side to side. We're gonna try to go from skydiver, which is an active bow, to bow pose. So when you're ready, take a breath in and kick back, bend the knees. See if you can, without making any strain, bend the knees and grab onto the outside of the ankles while you're already lifted. Then kick up, do the best you can, start to draw the knees towards one another, breathe, and release. Take your left ear down, try to keep your hands wrapped around your, the outside of your ankles or your feet. So we're gonna play around with rolling onto our side. So I'm gonna to twist towards you, turning onto the right side of my body and still pulling away into your bow, a side laying bow. And then I don't have a lot of room, but if you feel like you can try to continue to roll, so you'll try to roll to your side and then try to roll into bridge. So if you need a little more space, lower down and then lift again. Start to draw the knees a little closer towards each other. Squeeze the glutes, hamstrings, puff up through the heart, chin away from chest. Unwind the shoulders and we'll just roll on back. Wash the feet side to side. So we're gonna try that to the other side. Skydiver, grab ankles, lift, go lower down stay and then spin use a little momentum to try and stack your shoulders and hips kick back and then see if you can roll without smushing anything onto your back it takes a little practice and a fun one so you'll roll you can always come down and then lift back up hopefully you have more space than i'm working with here Breath in and out. Let's stay here in the back bend in your bridge. Release the shoulders and roll down the vertebrae. Give yourself a nice big hug. You can massage the back by making little circles. One way, circle the other way. All right, we're gonna go for a crisscross, shoulder blades up and we'll twist elbow to knee for eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rolling up to boat, rock freeze. Two more, roll, half boat, bent knees or straight. One, hold it up. Here's your option. You can try to roll into plow, use your core and try and catch the toes. Space between your chin and your chest. Try not to move your head around once you're in plow. Yogi's choice time. You can play here in a plow position. You can make your way into a candlestick, bent knee, tuck, uh, shoulder stand, or maybe you're feeling like going back into bridge or wheel. No force. Just finishing up with your final shapes that your body's craving. You can also call it a day here. Take your time. If you feel like you want to continue to explore, please do. Otherwise, possibly finding Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, 
knees wide. You can bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Pick up the shoulders and head. Get comfortable on your mat. Try to calm the breath down, by, or the heart rate down by breathing deeper. Back to softening the forehead, eyebrows, the jaw, and the tongue. Bring your knees together, walk onto your feet, widen your feet, let your knees cave in now. If you'd like, you can bring your hands out 45 degrees and allow your fingers to curl towards your heart. Lift the head slightly, chin up so we have this nice open airway. And then just start to explore from head to toe. Seeing if you can find a sense of surrender in each part of the body. Scalp, ears, jaw. Down the neck, the shoulders get heavy. The chest and belly are naturally rising and falling and the only parts of the body that are physically moving. Trying to find stillness in the mind, in the body, after all that hard work. Allowing your body to reap the benefits of pushing yourself, coming out of your comfort zone, and then giving your body that rest and recovery. Taking a moment to acknowledge all the hard things that you are able to do on the mat today. From that first step of getting on the mat and hitting play. Perhaps walking your feet out to the corners, letting your feet plop open. And continuing to scan down the spine into the low back and the hips the quads yep. and all the way down into the feet. Continue to stay and meditate. Take care of yourself as long as you'd like. Otherwise, I am going to leave you here. Just want to take a moment to thank you for joining me today. It means the world to me. Take a deep breath in together and a big sigh out. Thank you for sharing your practice. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you again. Please let me know how class went. I always love to hear from you and I'll see you on the next one.